for success is mentioned. Whoever desires, whoever wants, alhamdulillah, to attain success and falah can do. And if he follows that method, he will get success in this world and hereafter, inshallah, which is the purpose of our life. This is the purpose of our life. And if a person doesn't have this objective in life, that my hereafter should be better, that I need to improve my hereafter, then, or that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala should save me from all adab, and Allah ta'ala should save me from hellfire, and enter me into paradise, then that man or woman are like, for example, living the life of like a dog or a, or a cat, without any maqsad, any objective. First and foremost, every human being should understand the objective of his or her life. And in every way or form, a person should put that objective in front of him or her. This is very important indeed. Method of attaining the objective, Allah has given us a great, concise, beautiful statement, clear in direction, and it solves all of the problems. And what is that? Very many places in the Quran, Allah has mentioned this statement, giving us the advice of the method to be successful in the after. So all of us will try on this. When we say, inshallah, inshallah. I don't know if we've attained this yet or we've realized this method yet, but we all need to try. And this is the asal, the genuine path and method. This is the asal. And without this, remember, we cannot attain our objective. Allah Ta'ala in many places in the Quran has said this, for the people of Iman, the people who have belief. Shall I tell you what that method is? Yes, very simple. Allah Ta'ala said many times over in the Quran, وَاتَّقُوا subhanallah. Say subhanallah. Say so how easy this is. Look, Allah Ta'ala, if it's something very important, an important message, Allah says, then I'll give you such an easy way of remembering it, that the hardest of things that apparently are easy to blend. Allah says, what taqullah, sometimes with iman, sometimes with other words, sometimes with iman, the word that fear, fear Allah, fear me, Allah Ta'ala says, what taqullah, ittaqullah. Have fear. And what is the khawf that we should have? What is the fear that we should have? Now we are preparing for our maqsad, for our objective. Now what kind of what kind of khawf should we have? That should we fear Allah the way we, we fear scorpions or a lion? Oh, a lion's going to come and devour me. A scorpion will bite me. Or this person will give me pain and loss. Oh, he's going to hit me. Worst case, I may pass away. And this is khawf, this is fear. And Allah says also, ittaqullah, fear Allah. But one is the fear of the world and the other one is the fear of Allah, the Creator, Supreme, subhanAllah. So here we say Allah's name, Wattaqullah. So, the taste has now changed. This khawf, this fear, the taste has changed. If the lion comes in front of us, we start to urinate. We are so afraid. If the enemy comes in front of us with a, with a gun, for example, we say, oh, that's it. And my body will start to shake. I'm gone, I'm gone, I'm going to pass away, I'm going to die, I'm going to die. Isn't it? This happens, isn't it? And when Allah Ta'ala's fear comes, everyone starts to enjoy himself. His, the enjoyment is different with Allah Ta'ala's fear. That's an ajeeb khawf. So the fear of dunya, it makes a person tremble. But the fear of Allah makes a person enjoy himself, relish the opportunity. So that's why Allah says a good thing, that's why we should ask for it. Allah Ta'ala doesn't say ask for a lion, if you're scared of, if you're scared of a scorpion, or the person who's after you, uh, ask for his company. No, Allah says, ittaqullah, wattaqullah. So imagine how enjoyable and brilliant and good is that thing. Ask that person who has attained the whole this is an ajeeb statement that Rasulullah told his blessed companions, honorable companions at that time, when the companions and the Prophet ﷺ were passing through tests. And it was just during the time of the expedition of Uhud. And there was loss and there was pain. And then the news, the announcement was had spread that the Prophet ﷺ has, has uh, passed away. And this was an ajeeb event in the history of Islam. So Allah's Nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam said one statement to ease the concern and anxiety and the blessed statement that came out was that Allah it is very difficult we are going through severe difficulty and issues and Nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam even fell unconscious this was how dangerous was that um, event but one thing I desire Allah please just give me that and if I can understand that Allah, are you, are you happy with me? Are you still happy with me Allah? I just want to know this. Subhanallah. Ha-ha. And this was such a statement 
that was taught to the Muslimin for all of us as human beings. I cannot tell you what is the feeling of a person. And in my life, this incident or this example has passed. Because I always, as I say to you, I share with you my personal experience. The time came over me that it was a very hard time in my life. A very hard time. May Allah Ta'ala not give that hard time to anybody or they see such a hard time. It was difficult, the worst time and the most severest time in my life that I could not even imagine or mention verbally today. But I'll tell you the reality. That obviously it was such a time, dangerous, it was a very dangerous time for me, that after that maybe death was easy, but that time was very difficult. The time to think about it, there were difficulties, mountains of mounds of piles of difficulty, issues all around, there was nothing, nothing. And all uh, thoughts, processes had finished apart from darkness, there was nothing else. Subhanallah. And the first statement that came out at that point from my mouth was that Allah, that this is a big difficulty. But Allah, you're not unhappy with me, are you? You're not unhappy with me, are you? Allah, I tell you this today. I tell you the secret today. Why? Because this is such a majlis that I had to say this point. I swear by Allah and say this to you. I swear by Allah and say this. That difficulty, that I've told you a little bit about difficulty. At that time it seemed to me that I had gone into the ocean of peace and satisfaction. And the amount of satisfaction and ease that I attained at that time when I slept through. That if nobody woke me up, I could have slept for four days and four nights at that time. That there are two forms and colors of tasawwuf. Hazrat presented tasawwuf to me in two parts. Hazrat said, Faruqi Sahib, look, your seerat, your life... And your appearance, both should be in accordance with Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Totally, this is the definition of deen: your life and your appearance, physical and spiritual. Sirat, your whole life, maamalat, maashirat, ibadat, akhlaqiyat, giving, taking, wife, children, everything comes into the sirat of a person. His whole life pattern, the story, and surat, his whole zahir comes in. His appearance, his form, the way he presents himself. Anyone who's got both of these.